Sister Donna, God bless you very much. I'm alive. I'm alive. Okay. Praise the Lord. Well, praise God. You know, that's so funny, friends. Christmas is a very special time. And we've only had about four things go wrong this morning, and you didn't even know it. So, <laughs> oh, God is good, good, good. Amen. Oh, Lord, we love you. Lord, we praise you. Lord, we love you. Lord, we praise you. Thank God. Thank God. Praise God. Praise God. Hallelujah. Praise God in Jesus' name. Well, praise God. So we got me on audacity breathing real good now and everything else, right? Okay, hallelujah. Praise God. Oh, I don't know. I want to just praise God. Come on, hallelujah. Praise you, Jesus. Praise you, Lord. Bless you, Lord. Bless you, Lord. Praise you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Bless the Lord. Bless the Lord, oh, my soul. Bless the Lord, oh, my soul. Bless the Lord. Bless the Lord, oh, my soul. Hallelujah. Praise God. Bless the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Praise you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Praise you, Lord. Praise you, Lord. Praise you, Lord. Bless you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, praise God. Praise God. Hallelujah. Praise you, Lord. Praise you, Lord. Praise you, Lord. My God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise his name. Praise his name. Praise his name. Praise his name. Hallelujah. Praise God. Oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise his name. Hallelujah. Praise God. God is good, good, good. Lord, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Praise God. He says, This is my day, my children. Praise me, love me, worship me. For you'll see that when you exalt me and praise my name, I will visit you. I will visit you in power. I will visit you in liberty. I will visit you in healing. I will visit you in deliverance. And I will visit you in salvation. So seek my face, children. Seek my face. Raise your voice. Raise your voice. Lift your hands. Raise your voice. Hallelujah. And exalt your great God in heaven. Hallelujah. So we give God the glory, 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 we give God the glory, hallelujah, amen, hallelujah, hallelujah, praise God, hallelujah, isn't God good, amen, hallelujah, 
you know, when, when the Lord touches you, you better move with it, amen? You know, uh, while the waters are moving, you know, you jump in, right? And so, I guess I'll share a word with you here this morning, but I know this, I know this, that I'm always looking to see Jesus show up. It's a nice thing for us to gather together, have our friendly little time together, and uh, shake hands, give somebody a hug, sing some songs, amen, as to the glory of God, but the whole thing with it is, is, it's when you meet with God together. Forsake not the assembling of yourselves together, and why is that? It's because corporate praise, corporate worship, and the corporate invited presence of God, amen, amen, amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Well, friends, I'm going to just tell you that this year coming up, 2022, it's going to have some challenges. You might say, well, what's new about that? <laughs> yeah, really. <laughs> but it's, it's going to have a lot of great points, too. It's going to be a lot of high points. Uh, I would really suggest to you, just, just out of uh, good planning and following the, the way the ant prepares for the future, that whatever, every time you go to the grocery store, buy a few extra things to stock up at your house. And I'm just saying that, not as uh, any dire warning, but I'm saying that as uh, uh, good things are coming, but when God's getting ready to move in an explosive way, the enemy sometimes doesn't just lay down and say, well, have your way then. He fights it. So I want you to protect yourself and be prepared, be ready, and put some things away and all this stuff, and always just live as close to God as you can. Because he will lead you, he will lead you. Let's put that upon the board then. Thank you, gentlemen. God speaks at Christmas. Well, you might say he speaks all the time, but God speaks at Christmas. I noticed something. Uh, I've got a lot of different messages about Christmas because generally every, every December, I preach Christmas every Sunday of the month of December. And so I've got a lot of message, but messages. But one thing I noticed, are you still hearing me? Am I coming up through real good? Okay, sorry. I guess the monitor's kind of fooling me. But so, uh, God speaks at Christmas. You know, I want you to know that God's talking to you. God's talking to America. God's talking to this church. Amen. Amen. God's talking to your family. He's talking to you about your life. God speaks at Christmas. So let's look at the board up there. If you'll get it pointed over that way, Sister Jenny. It's, uh, you see there an angel on the left is approached Mary on the... Uh, in the middle, you see where an angel approached Zechariah to tell him of the coming of his son, John the Baptist. And on the far right, you see how the angels visited the shepherds and told these stinky, lowly shepherd guys, you're special because he came for you today and go see your king. And so all that was there. Luke chapter 1, uh, verse 26 and 7 says, Now in the sixth month of the, an uh, the angel Gabriel was... Now, six months of Elizabeth's pregnancy. She had six months of gestation. The angel Gabriel was sent by God to a city of Galilee named Nazareth to a virgin betrothed to a man whose name was Joseph of the house of David. The virgin's name was Mary. And so, you can come back over this way. So, uh, an angel Gabriel. God had to speak to all the various people that, that were going to play, play a part of all of this. So the angel Gabriel, special messenger of God. You know, the name angel means messenger. You knew that, right? Angel means messenger. And so, and so we, uh, we don't want to worship the messenger. We worship God, right? Yeah. And yet it's nice when the Lord sees fit to send a, some kind of a supernatural uh, signal and sign to us. And uh, then I'm going to show you some other things here. We're going to talk about how he spoke to Mary and to Joseph and, and a number of other people. And one of the things that showed up every time was the angel, before he said almost anything, had to start out by saying, be not afraid. Because guess what? Supernatural whammo. Don't be afraid. <laughs> Whoa, I've never seen this before. Well, the Lord knew that, you see. So, so some of the things I'm going to talk to you about and in, in the uh, various people he spoke to about, number one, don't be afraid. Number two, here's what God, God is doing. Number three, you have a part to play in it. And number four, be bold and step into your destiny. Amen. And those are the things really that are in this message 